I'm trying to get a video with Charlie screaming out here at me. He's pissed. I'm working on the Troy Belt Tiller. It has a Kohler M8T engine. As you can see, it's all pulled into pieces here. It's a really bad area to work on the motor because I'm out here back in the garden, but I just figured I'd bring some generic ass used tools back here to work on it. It'd have been much better in the in the in the garage in the shop. So pull out the flywheel, looking for the points to adjust the points. No points. All I see is a rubber gasket here up front indicating that this whole aluminum silver looking plate when it comes off it's gonna leak oil everywhere and I can see the cast casting of the block behind it so uh, I looked and looked and looked and turns out there's no points for this style of ignition because it's a magnetic pickup ignition there's a flywheel and it's got the magnetic sensor the magnetic pickup right there um, stator maybe that's called and then the ignition module which looks like a coil to me, but they call it ignition module. <clears throat> We're not getting any spark on the spark plug, so I assume that the points right here needed to be adjusted, like the other style of Briggs and Stratton or Kohler motors or whatever the heck, uh, all these similar small engines. So anyway, we're going to put the key back on, which the keyway is right there located in the flywheel. We're going to mount the flywheel back on. I'm going to rewire this uh, to make sure, I'm going to test it with the ohm meter, but I'm going to rewire these kill switch wires, these white ones that go in there and mount to the side of the block. There's the bottom tab and then the top is already connected from the wire, but we clean the heck out of them and tighten them up just in case they weren't making connections. So hopefully that's the only issue we had, hopefully it was just uh, bad ground or whatever you want to call it, the connection for the kill switch. That's what I'm assuming is the issue because this does not have points so we're going to put all this back together and try starting it up again and when it does before it's all done the gap between the flywheel and these little magnetic pieces metal pickup pieces here are sensors on the bottom of the ignition uh, module have to be between 0 0.012 one thousandths and 0 0.016 one thousandths of an inch gap between that and the flywheel and the spark plug gap is supposed to be 0 0.025 thousandths of an inch 25 thousandths so we're going to make sure those are gapped with a feeler gauge uh, after installation maybe we might have to adjust those and then if that doesn't start up with that then the only thing we can do is replace the ignition module which is this coil looking deal uh, replace the wiring here for the kill switches. Replace the coil plug wire. There's a different name for it, of course. Uh, I think it's high ignition energy lead wire or whatever, but it's just a coil plug wire, just like you have in a vehicle. If that doesn't work, and then we'll have to go through the wiring here and up through the handles, and maybe it's one of the kill switches in here or the other side. Uh, but it was running earlier. So we're going to check all this out, and hopefully we'll figure it out.